I mean, I like, I really like burnt ends, but after two days, I'm, I don't want to see barbecue for a little while. There's just been a steady stream of meat, meat flowing meat. through us. I'm Erica, and this is David, and we are 30A Misfits. A YouTube video. You uh, want to be on it? No. <laughs> we got a YouTube channel. We're doing a burnt in tour of Kansas City. If you're not sure what 30A is, you can read more about that in the description below. But this video is about ranking burnt ends in Kansas City, Missouri slash Kansas. We know the difference. I'm from Kansas, born and raised. We know they're two freaking cities. But for the sake of this video, we're treating the Kansas City metro area as a whole thing as a blue blood in the barbecue world. Kind of like how the Kansas Jayhawks are a blue blood in the basketball world. Rock chalk. It's off! The game is over! And Kansas completes the biggest championship comeback! National champion. <laughs> Burn ends are classically made with the point ends of a brisket. But some of the places that we visited didn't have traditional beef brisket burn ends. They had pork burn ends. Some places had both. That's pork. That's beef. So what we decided to do was score each place on what they did best. We scored each place on a scale of 1 to 10 and then added our scores together. And the scores are based on two things, texture and taste. That's it. If you want to hear more about where in the country David and I have been on this road trip. Road trip. Is that where we're at, Springboro? Yes. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know where in the hell we are. Freaking ghost town. Yeah. Springboro, Centerville, Our hotels and Keep watching to the end. But for now, here are the top 10 burn ends in Kansas City. Plowboys is right downtown. Plowboys, and it was an interesting experience. Those poor girls. Yeah, was, somebody walked in right before us with an order from obviously an office and had 20 orders, individual orders. Yeah, 20 individual orders, and they, they were just right. and they were killing it. So. <laughs> this looks like it's right up my alley. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. All right. Nine two. I think the beef flavor is strong with this one. Yes. Eight six. On to the next one. This will be your best stop. I'm just saying. You guys yep, this it. is for you guys. What's y'all's names? Uh, I'm uh, sales. I'm Pam. You're what? Sales. It's a strange family name. How do you spell that? S A L E S. Okay. I'll be going. I'm ready. We've All heard right. a lot about this one. This one's different. You care if I just bite it in half and then give you the other half? Hmm, that's weird. That's weird. Okay. It's a lot sweeter. Mm hmm. Mm. Nine five. Eight five. You don't like this much. Why don't Why don't you like it? It's too sweet and not smoky enough. I gotcha. But I understand why you like it. Yeah. That's more up your alley. And see, this is why we're adding our scores together and doing it that way. Because we have such we have pretty different preferences. And so I feel like that kind of evens it out. You get things from both ends of the spectrum, and then you're averaging them together. Find the best. Find out who's best. That's the only way. And this is up there. I think it's gonna be a top five contender. All right, next one. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. Yeah, that's the one I've seen the most on TV because it looks like an old gas station. Yeah. And uh, I think it still is a gas station. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. It's a shame. Like I actually see people up there pumping gas. I think. Yeah. I'll be darned. Let's do this. Okay. Woo. Just a half 
pound of burgundy or a whole pound of burgundy? Let's do a half pound of burgundy. Perfect. My name is Jennifer. Jennifer? <laughs> All right. <laughs> your fingers, Queen Elizabeth. Finger it. I'm not an animal. <laughs> I'm not an animal! <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so hot. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we got one. Eight, nine. No. Nine, one. Night of the living barbecue sauce. Immediately regret this decision. Oh no. Too that hot. Was stupid. So I really thought I had just messed up. But it's not too bad. Yeah. Off to the next one. Why and dot barbecue? Oh, okay, going to the car. It's just so quiet in there. And we're kind of in the country and I have green hair and I don't want to make anybody mad. Uh, this is a good sign. Yeah, right? Yep, yep, I got a spork. Good. That'll work. Okay, well, we don't need sauce. Dude. That's what she Yeah, that's, that's what she was like, what? You need sauce? No sauce. I don't know. I smell, I smell like cinnamon. Like Christmas. Yes, I told you I smelled cinnamon. Oh, it's so hot. I'm gonna let you go first. Uh, uh, in a, in a brown, brown morsels. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. a nine four. It's good. <clears throat> it was definitely not my favorite. I'm gonna say eight seven. And I know that the entire look of this place and everything else plays into my score. Right. There's sauce everywhere. On to the next one. Barbecue is not just food here, right? It's a lot more than that. And while there's no shortage of great barbecue joints in Kansas City, one of the most popular ones now has a second home in Johnson County. Q39. Let's get the bars out, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thanks. Oh, it smells so good. This is a cool place, though. Gotta yeah, go with your first one, 9.1. Right. Oh, what happened to one bite? What happened to one bite? Unbelievable. Okay. Brisket and Burnouts keeps the doors open and the lights on. So yeah. That's definitely what we're known for. On to the next one, right? Yeah. Woo! I just realized he didn't give a score. What's your score? I'd say. I mean, I'm gonna give it a 9.1. Would you give it? 9-1. Yeah. So we agree, 9-1. Yeah. Okay, now we'll see you at the next place. The Kansas City Metro is split in two by a river, creating Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. Two different mayors, what? two different mayors, two different governors. Cut! I need to pick you up. 
two different mayors, two different governments, planning commissions, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Most of the time when people talk about Kansas City, they're talking about Kansas City, Missouri, because that's where all the tall buildings are, where the Kansas City Chiefs, the Kansas City Royals. The barbecue places that we visited were pretty much evenly divided between the two states. We didn't even know which state we were in most of the time. I'm on one side, I'm on the other side. I'm on the East Bank, I'm on the West Bank. These are five places that didn't quite make the top 10, but were still yummy enough to get an honorable mention. We're at Jack Stack and we had to park across the street in another business. Got a closed Red Robin. Got a closed Red Robin just to get into this thing. Well, and there's always a reason why places are like this. Right, yeah. This place is a lot more darker and, you know, like old school. Yeah. This is probably the most famous, I would say. Sarda, established 1976. As far as the looks of this place, this place is my favorite so far. I dig it. It's just old school steakhouse type, or you know, an old school barbecue joint. I like it. That's pork. That's beef. All right, I'll try some beef first. Beef Rosedale Barbecue. These look totally different. Totally different deal. Smokehouse <laughs> barbecue in Zona Rosa? There's this really neat mosaic piece we'll show you. We'll get a better look at it later, but right, you can right. see it. That's right. But the mosaic piece that we have over there, it's over 100 years old. It came out of a building in downtown Kansas City that was built in, 19, in 1910s, somewhere okay. in that area. Our owner bought it out of an auction when they demoed the building, set it in storage for about 20 years, and then whenever he went to design the building, he put that up there and designed the building all around that mosaic That's so piece. awesome. And like I said, it's over 100 years old, and you can't get that art anywhere Yeah, else. no. So. That's awesome. Hey, we're... So we have two kinds this time. We have brisket and pork belly. Okay. okay. Now I'm doing the pork belly. Okay. I just exploded. Nine three. Okay. I think this is the first place that we like the pork better. I bet I like the pork belly. Right. Yeah, but I mean, you want. Nine one. Nine one. All right. On to the next one. Okay. So we are at Gates Barbecue. I do believe the only way to get burnt ends here is on this sandwich because I'm pretty sure when it was suggested to us they said you have to get the burnt ends on a bun. And I thought maybe that was just a, a serving suggestion, but I, it looks like that might be the only way they have it. There's so. more oh, that barbecue sauce. That there's no like signage extension. He is going to evaluate where this team is going to be, certainly where they are closer to the trade deadline. 9-3. Wow. All right. You know, I'm gonna write that down. What's it is, your lips? It's so good. <laughs> I told you. It's so good. I think I have to agree. Nine three. Nine three. That's a good place to put it. Right. Wow. Nine three, nine three. Off to the next one. So you're gonna take me ice skating while we're here? Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Let me eat 20 more pounds of burn in. <laughs> YouTube channel. We're doing a 
a burnt in tour of Kansas City. Okay, burnt ends barbecue. We'll try to find just the right bite. I think that's it. It's got a little crust, a little fat. That was the bite. Scored. 9 6. The highest? I don't think that's the highest. It's pretty close. You're getting up there. Would you, you like to there? try it? Yeah. Love the texture. Mm hmm. 9 2. 9 2. Okay. Smoke Town. You the owner here? Pitmaster. Pitmaster? What's your what's your name? Brian. Brian? We cook for 16 hours, man. No lifts. <laughs> for 16 hours, man. No lifts. <laughs> These look really good. They're just glistening. Wow. Hurry up, I'm drooling. That's a that's a line three. I just gotta find the perfect bite. That's that's my deal. That's the bite I want. This one makes me want to say, forget going anywhere else. Right. And yeah, I, I just want to gorge myself on this because yeah. I know it can't get any better. <laughs> Nine seven. Smoke Town is the the best i mean so far blown away best yeah. so far super not nice, sure super cool not sure how it can get any better right that's the problem but we're gonna keep looking and we're off to the next one right yes turn left To like the sauce, you you know me. And it's it's sauce. not tomato based. Okay. It's funky. Okay, that just changed the game. It just comes at you from all different directions, like something else hits you, and it's like, oh wait. <laughs> right. There's so many flavors going on. We have a new number one. Right. And we couldn't yeah. even try their beef. Say it again. And we couldn't even try their beef. Right. They were out of beef. So if the pork's this good, I can only imagine how good the beef is. You get this? This is the first place that's been sold out. Yeah, it's the first place that's been sold out. Walking out of the winter. Congratulations to Elsie's. After two days of burn ins, Elsie's was the last place we tried, and they definitely surprised us. When we walked in, it was so smoky, the room was just filled. And there was a whole line of people standing there completely unfazed, and we knew there was something special going on. That's it for this episode of 30A Misfits Off Road Road Trip Edition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching to get a sneak peek of something else we've been working on. In December, our rent was raised by $900. Which caused us to take a vacation from 30A. It's like season finale music playing in my head. As right. And we decided to head to Kansas for the holidays. So we turned a two day drive into a two week road trip. Road trip. We visited friends and family across the country and did a little searching for the soul of our brand along the way. 
After spending four months in David's sister's basement in Wichita, Kansas, We became united on one thing for sure. We want this channel to glorify God. So we need to find new, creative, and profitable, yes, ways to glorify God. If a seaside t-shirt is part of the culture of 30A, we want our brand to be part of the counterculture of 30A. We want to have the seaside t-shirt for the cool kids. I like Jesus' style. And I love Jesus' style, you know. He's cool. And I want our brand to be cool. We want the counterculture of 30A to be about love. So that's how we're going to glorify God. So, one of my best friends down in Miami, Florida, uh, I've recently found out that he is a fan, well, his daughter is a fan of our YouTube show, and they watch together every night uh, before she goes to bed. And he said we need to include more banter and controversy. Controversy means viewers. In our uh, episodes. So, we can do that. So we're also not gonna sugarcoat anything when it comes to our experiences. Don't sugarcoat it. Good or bad. So keep watching, go on this journey with us. Check out our spring store. I'm good to do this. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And 